Well, good morning, friends. My name is Will Davis Jr. and welcome to Good News Today. We jump in today to the real meat of First Peter in the first chapter. And this first sentence we're going to start with, verse 3 of First Peter chapter 1, just the first part of it, I'll read it to you. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The verse goes on. But this is an introductory statement to a sentence that goes on for multiple verses and is one of the greatest passages, honestly, in all the New Testament. So I just want to deal with this little ecstatic um, heart explosion of Peter when he says, okay, I'm writing to the elect, I'm writing to you guys that are scattered among the, you know, the cities there, those Roman colonies, and I'm writing to you who are, being su- who are suffering. So you're being persecuted, and I know difficult days are coming, so here's what I want to say. Bless God. It's amazing. This, this not, I'm so sorry, and woe is us, and woe is you, and, and boy, what a bummer. He, he, Peter can't contain the joy he feels in the, needing to declare the greatness of God to his audience that's in trouble and hurting. It's word for word what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1, which I equally love. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. P- Paul goes on to say, who's blessed us in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Peter has a similar passage here. It's, it's got strong Trinitarian overtones. I'll walk you through those in the coming days. But I just think it's amazing that in this context of a crisis for these believers, Peter's word to them is, bless God. I mean, that's not always my normal response when things are going my way, you know? So the word blessed be, and it's an imperative, it's a verb, it's a command. Bless and honor God, okay? It's the word you logeo. It's a, it's a verb, you logeo. And the EU is good. It's our word euphemism comes from that. And logos is word. Logeo is to speak, to speak a word. So it's uh, it, our word eulogy comes from this. So eulogy is a good word, or supposed to be a good word about somebody. So do you, in, in scriptural days a eulogy to eulogize someone didn't mean they had passed away necessarily you could speak a good word about somebody when you brag on somebody you're eulogizing them in a positive sense even while they're alive so that's the word here eulogize speak well of in a command form our god the god who is the god and father of our lord jesus christ the the source of our lord jesus christ as he was here on earth It's, it's just an amazing comment so Peter says, I want you to think well and speak well of God because I have to. Even in this um, difficult day, he says, I will bless God. So, you know, we, all, we often think of God being the one who blesses us. And he does. He, he gives us so many blessings. And that's what Ephesians 1 talks about. But there's all kinds of biblical commands. Um, Psalm 34, 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. There's a biblical tension that we get to bless God. And it's not that we give him blessing, that's something he gives us, but we honor him. We, we speak well of him. And don't we know, friends, today, uh, there's enough, there's plenty of need out there for people to speak well of our God. And so as we jump into this this week, I'll begin to list for you some of the things that Peter had in mind that reflect God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit that caused him to want to bless God with this ec- ecstatic, oh, First thing I want to say to you guys is let's just bless the Lord together. I mean, his heart is so full. His heart is so full. So here's what I want you to do as good news today. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen out, and I want you to be, I want you to write, God, I want to speak well of you. I want to bless your name, to speak well of your name for these things. And it doesn't, it can be thanksgiving. It, you've done this, you've done this. It could also be praise. You are this, you are this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then I want you to list your own verses. Friends, that is a that is a renewing, it's a process that will help you to renew your mind. It will cause you to focus in. It'll put COVID and all the things in our world in perspective. And it will redirect your heart toward God in a tender way. But let's not let Peter steal the thunder of being the only one who gets to bless God in what may be a difficult day. Let's, let's join him in that. And, and be quick to say, I will eulogize, I will speak well of the name of my God, even in difficult circumstances, because he's always, always worth it. 
Let me pray. Lord, I love you. I thank you for this time. We love you. Bless these sweet people today in Jesus' name. And Lord, we bless you. We bless you as King of kings and Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow.